These two devices have recently added Microsoft Office integrations, but which is best? Well, as with most of these questions, it does depend on your use case. Now stick around while I make that clear. Firstly, they're both simply one way. You can send to Kindle or you can send to Remarkable, but you won't be able to send back with the markups. They're both sort of dictating that certain workflow. You draft an office, then you send to your e-paper device to review, and then you make edits on the desktop apps again. But there are other uses as we dive deeper into these integrations, so stick around. Neither are true office apps. And to be fair, that wasn't what Amazon promised when they simply stated there'd be a Microsoft Office integration early in 2023. And here it is. Getting and using these integrations couldn't be any easier. The send to Kindle app will just be there if you're installed on a Microsoft 365 account and you're in the latest version of Word. And the Remarkable is an add-in that you can get from the Files Get Add-ins menu. And you can also get that on PowerPoint. The first time you use them, it just asks you to sign in and then it just works. If you want full Office integration, then you do want to go for books. Uh, you can use the full Android apps on there with all of those features. And the one thing I noticed in the recent update was that they've added a patch to make dual instances of Microsoft apps work with what you call work profile. And you can find that in the settings apps menu. That should be really useful, but more on that in a later video. These integrations do make you wonder who the Amazon Kindle scribe team really think their competition is. Probably Kobo and Remarkable. And perhaps they're right if you just think about global sales. It does seem that they're wanting to bring this device to Kindle scribe up to the level of functionality of the Remarkable, but still retain that Kindle kind of read first mentality. The Kindle is still going to be primarily a reader and the Remarkable is still going to be primarily a note taker. But will they try to match all the Remarkable features here on the Kindle Scribe? give us text recognition, more advanced navigation, tagging, maybe even screen share? Or maybe they're going to try and match the Kobo Ellipsa 2 with the advanced notebook features and the cloud services. Or will they be content just to give us some of what people are asking for and not lose the Kindle identity as being the best value device for accessing the best library of books and audiobooks? These are the advantages of Kindle. With the Kindle, you have two options from Word. You can either send to Kindle like a Kindle, then all the text is selectable and you can highlight, annotate all the things you can with a normal Kindle book. Or you can select like a printed document and then you can annotate directly on the page. The like a printed document is going to be better if you've got complex formatting like tables or diagrams or pictures but remember you can't actually select the text on that version. You can see in the library my word files have come through as the tool Kindle books or PDF type books with the little word symbol. The advantages of the Remarkable are that well you can actually send from Word and you can send from PowerPoint but it only comes through as a flat PDF nothing is selectable here. So on the Remarkable, there's no way to actually select the text, it's just a flat PDF, but you can annotate everywhere. And hyperlinks will work on both, but that's about all. both of them this avoids that step that I go through of actually exporting as a PDF and then sending to the device. I can now create my planner directly in Word and then just hit send to Kindle. And I could even go ahead and do a bit of digital planning on my computer, bring things in directly from Outlook or my rotor from school and then just every week do a send to Kindle or send to Remarkable and then I've got my planner on my device with those digital things that I've added on the computer. PowerPoint integration could make Remarkable a much better machine for presentations. Either just as a place for your notes, you can use the space underneath each slide. Or as they come through in color, you could simply present using the Remarkable screen share function. And this could be a really powerful way to present. This is going to make Remarkable's communication and presenting scores go right up. It even when you just hover the pen over, it actually becomes like a laser pointer. So this could make Remarkable a great place to keep your decks of slides for impromptu presentation, maybe reviewing slides in meetings, or for regular teachings that you deliver. It's nice. This is clearly a use that they've aimed for in this update to Remarkable. A couple more things you'd say about how easy they are to use. Well, the send to Kindle function is actually always available in Word once you've updated it to the latest version, whereas you do have to go ahead and get the Kindle add-ins from the get add-in menu, which is very easy to find and do, of course, but it does make it slightly more difficult for some users. Now, that also hints for Amazon that they are gonna have 
a more direct partnership between Amazon and Microsoft on this and that's perhaps a hint of where we're going to go later on and maybe a hint that we might get the integration that we were hoping for. Here it is then. So once again, the remarkable is going to beat out the scribe for note taking. Once again, the Kindle is going to beat out the Remarkable for reading. The Remarkable is better for thinking, is better for presenting. It's a place to develop ideas through note making. The Microsoft add-in is really welcome. The Scribe beats the Remarkable though for reading and for learning. You can select and you can annotate bits of text. That means you can export all those into one document with all of those highlights and the annotations you've made next to them. So that makes it better suited as a place for learning. Perhaps you need to review a long document, a long piece of text with a colleague, or perhaps you need to mark up a student's work. You can actually keep a batch of annotations as you review the document and then export them into one document at the end. It could be a really nice way to have feedback and discussion around a piece of text. I hope that helps you make up your mind. The remarkable Microsoft Office integration is better if you're primarily using this device for notes, and the Kindle is gonna be better if you're primarily using the device for reading or reviewing documents. Thanks a lot for watching, and let me know what you think of these integrations and how you are going to use them. Next, watch this video here for a detailed comparison of these two great devices.